Hello folks, welcome to this video series on AWS databases. Setting up monitoring for resources in the cloud can be difficult and time consuming. But it is very important for enterprises to monitor every component in their application stack. In today's video, let's learn about Amazon CloudWatch application insights, how to use and set up application insights for RDS for Oracle databases. My name is Yamuna Palasamudram, and I'm a Senior Database Specialist Solutions Architect here at AWS. With that introduction, let's get started. Here is the agenda for today's session. Let's begin by understanding what is Application Insights, its features, why we need Application Insights, and then let's look at how to set up App Insights for RDS for Oracle workloads. Then I will go over a demo where uh, let's look at how to set up and configure uh, app, is, app Insights for RDS Oracle workloads in the AWS console. First, let's talk about why we need Application Insights. In general, monitoring challenges in the cloud are plenty. They're complex and difficult to set up, considering the volume of resources to be monitored at an enterprise level. It's also complex and difficult to identify important issues, troubleshoot conflicts, and the volume of data sources and events. And also uh, difficulty configuring various tools and of course the cost of maintaining and managing these third-party monitoring tools. And that is where Application Insights comes into play. App Insights greatly reduces the time taken to set up and configure CloudWatch and really seeks to eliminate that tool fatigue a user might feel when using multiple monitoring tools. Let's look at uh, App Insights in a little more detail in the coming slides. App Insights is an observability service which provides details on the health and wellness. It looks at the underlying infrastructure metrics, telemetry and logs, looking for issues, alerts, anomalies and known problems. It identifies and sets up key metrics, logs and alarms across your application resources and technology stack. It is a workload driven. Application Insights sets up specific metrics, alerts, performance counters based on the application. For example, for your RDS uh, databases, it has specific metrics like CPU utilization, read and write latency, and so on. It also creates recommended dashboards and will highlight issues using machine learning analysis to identify problems. Now, these are the main features of Application Insights. First thing, it provides a simplified, easy setup for monitoring application resources. So it provides a simple wizard that helps you to set up and the monitoring for AWS workloads in an automated fashion. You can also set up monitoring for legacy, migrated, and modernized applications. The data sources include CloudWatch events, metrics and logs, OS logs, application logs, workload specific logs. You can also customize the monitoring metrics to meet your application needs. Second, it identifies problems and provides notifications by correlating these issues to CloudWatch events. It creates um, automatic dashboards for detected problems, insights, and observations, and also provides a consolidated view across the application tiers. And lastly, it uses machine learning to analyze the problem patterns. Now, a few key terms to be 
aware of when working with uh, application insights are application and a component. Now, application is a set of interrelated components that comprise a stack. Whereas component itself can be an auto-grouped, standalone, or custom grouping of similar resources that make up the application. Now, we recommend grouping similar resources into custom components for better monitoring. Like here, what you see, the RDS database or the load balancers or the web server. So these are the components and all of them together uh, comprise your application. Also to be uh, known are few other key terms are observation and problem. Now an observation is an individual event like um, a metric anomaly, a log error or an exception that is detected with an application or application resource. Whereas problems are detected by correlating classifying and grouping related observations. So problem is basically like a set of correlated observations uh, make a problem. Application Insights supports monitoring for various resources like Amazon EC2, Amazon EBS, Elastic Load Balancers, AWS Lambda, AWS S3, just to name a few. Now, early this year, CloudWatch Application Insights announced the support of monitoring RDS for Oracle databases. Now, in this video, let's focus on um, RDS for Oracle component. Uh, now, enterprises with Oracle databases can easily set up monitoring, alerting, and dashboards for their EC2 and RDS Oracle instances on AWS with CloudWatch Application Insights. This new feature automatically sets up the metrics, telemetry, and logs for monitoring the health and wellness of Oracle databases running in AWS. Application Insights supports alert logs and listener logs for Oracle on Amazon RDS, as well as Oracle on um, Amazon EC2. It supports multiple metrics for RDS database instances like CPU utilization, memory utilization, database connections, read and write latency, throughput, and so on. At a very high level to set up RDS in App Insights, you first have to have a resource group created with the resources that you want to include. Create an IAM policy if it uh, does not exist, and then add the application and application insights and go through the simple wizard to finish the configuration steps for all the components in the resource group. Now, this can be done uh, very easily via the console or uh, AWS CLI SDK. Now, let's go through these uh, uh, steps in the demo. So, let me switch to my demo screen. Here I am in the AWS console. I have a sample application deployed on WebLogic server, which uses RDS Oracle database as the backend data source. So next few minutes, let's look at uh, how to add these two components into the application insights. First, I'm going to go into uh, resource groups here and create a resource group for this WebLogic server, which is running on EC2 and the RDS database. So in resource groups, click on create resource group. I'm going to create based on tags. My resource types are an EC2 instance and an RDS database, RDS database instance. And you can filter it by the tag, which is easier. Okay, click on preview resources. And this is my EC2 and this is my RDS. I'm going to give this a name. And create this resource group. 
Okay. So this is the first step. Next, um, you need to have an IAM policy attached to your user. Now, in my case, I'm just using uh, one of the AWS managed policies, which is which gives a uh, uh, full full access to the user. Now this is the IAM console and uh, this is a policy I have uh, attached to my user. It's basically giving full access um, uh, of application insights to my user. Uh, next let's access uh, App Insights itself, right? So I have to go into CloudWatch and uh, on the left hand side you will see Application Insights under the Insights section. So let's go into application insights and add an application. First, uh, you need to select by the resource group. Select the resource group that we just created. And then um, leave this um, uh, box um, check mark enabled, right? So this is basically integrating with CloudWatch events and uh, get the insights from the various uh, AWS resources like your EC2, RDS, and so on. Now you can also uh, integrate it with um, uh, Systems Manager, right? Now to basically get notified when problems are detected for your uh, selected applications, you can um, integrate it with Systems Manager. So I'll just leave this um, as is. Uh, optionally, you can provide uh, uh, ARN for your uh, SNS if you want to get any notifications. Then click on next and your next tab will be around monitoring. So now in this page, basically you'll be setting up monitoring for the all the components in your resource group. Now this is something you can edit and set uh, edit even after uh, setting up this application. Now for each of the component you see uh, a drop down box from where you can select uh, what type of application it is. Now, for the first one, this is an RDS database instance, so it uh, chooses by default. Now, for the EC2 instance, based on uh, what type of application server it is, uh, you can choose which is um, whichever is relevant to your application here, whether it's a, a .NET application or a, or a if you have an Oracle database on EC2, then it would be an Oracle database here, right? Now, uh, if it is uh, something custom application, then you would go ahead and choose this um, custom tier. Now, I'm going to retain this as Java application and click on next. Now, this is um, uh, an additional logs if you have to specify. Now, that is where you will put that here. Say you have some custom log parts that you want to monitor, then you can um, uh, include that in this section. Again, like I mentioned before, this is um, something you can add after creating the application uh, itself. Uh, I'm going to leave this default for now and click on next. Then uh, just review this and submit. So now you have your uh, uh, application for uh, these two components set up in your application insights. Once you have added the application, you, you can access that application from the application insights dashboard. So here um, you can see the application that we just added. So click on that and you will be able to view the details of that particular application. Now these are the two components. Uh, you will have configuration history, log patterns, tags, uh, various tabs in there. Now if I want to change any monitoring uh, configuration here, I can uh, uh, click on the component and go in and click on manage monitoring. Now this is my database layer. Um, so I have these uh, uh, logs that are monitored, the various metrics. So if I want to add any other metrics or remove any metrics or, or any alarms, then uh, this is a place you can come and um, uh, edit it. So say I'm going to add database connections in here. 
and uh, these are custom alarms if you want to configure more uh, uh, custom alarms then uh, you can do that here now application insights is going to uh, by default or uh, automatically it's going to set up alarms for each of the metrics okay so these are the additional uh, custom alarms if you want to set it up so i'm going to say save and uh, i'll show you those alarms which i was talking about so you can say this one save you details and it will show um, so you can see these are all the uh, alarms that have been configured automatically by application insights and that is what you see here and it will show you what are the metrics that it's more for the demo purpose i've generated a load on my rds database server with 30 users so let's look at uh, what shows up in the app insights uh, dashboard fast forward a few minutes after the load generation i'm going into the uh, app application insights dashboard you see view insights here so click on that and the insights dashboard comes up here and you see here the red color you see rds there is one in alarm so you can click on that to view what is going on here and also the uh, dashboards here on the right side it's basically showing you you can enlarge this and it is showing you that the database connections have gone all the way up to 30. So I had uh, generated a load for 30 users and uh, you see that in the dashboard here. Also down here you can see the CPU utilization is going up when the uh, load generation was uh, load generation script was running, right? So uh, this provides you the insights on the various metrics for the entire application stack. Now you can go in here to see what is happening uh, with that uh, alarm as well, right? So you can say view alarms and it's going to show up how the database connections have gone up all the way till uh, 30. To summarize, we went over application insights, its setup and configuration for RDS for Oracle databases. In the demo, we saw how to create a resource group and add an application in App Insights based on the resource group. We also saw how App Insights sets up monitoring metrics and alarms automatically, but also gives the ability to customize it when needed. You can use App Insights for monitoring your full application stack or you could also group resources that have similar monitoring metrics or monitoring requirements. For example, you can create a resource group for all of your development Oracle databases and uh, set up app insights for this resource group. You could similarly have one for production databases. This way you can control the uh, metrics, alarms, notifications and so on. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you for taking time to learn about AWS services and happy cloud computing.